I'm Alan Weir from New Zealand and I'm a peace educator and work for International Peace and Disarmament. Uh, the central aim of my work is to uh, help people educate people on resolving conflicts in non-violent win-win ways and in doing so we can remove the adherence to the use of force or the threat of the use of force, whether that be through war or through threatening people with nuclear weapons. So I work on nuclear abolition, the abolition of nuclear weapons, but I really work the bigger picture is how do we bring a, a more peaceful world through non-violent conflict resolution. So a lot of my work is in education, in schools, and some of it is in education for governments and ambassadors. It's very important to honour and celebrate peace initiatives because so often in the mainstream media we hear a lot about violence. Violence is easy to show, you can get graphic photographs or film of it. It's what often media thinks will sell papers. But really people are interested in peace initiatives. So to have awards like the Right Livelihood Award and the Nobel Peace Award really highlights successful peace initiatives or ones that have a lot of promise and it helps inspire people. So I think it's really important that there are these awards. And for me, it's helped me to get my message out to a much wider group of people through uh, media interviews, through greater recognition, through, um, through greater uh, opportunities to speak. I've got a lot of speaking invitations because of the Right Livelihood Award. It's been very, very helpful. Um, my vision for the world, I often do visualizations with uh, students, children at school, about the world in 10 or 20 years, depending on the age. And in that vision, I take them to what a peaceful world would be like. And it's interesting because very, very different children, and it doesn't really matter what culture, they all have some very similar ideas about a peaceful world, about people working together, about a sharing food, having enough for everybody. Um, about not having huge disparity between rich and poor, about looking after the environment, about the quality of life rather than the quantity of consumption. These are some of like, the core values and core visions that people share, but often they don't have an opportunity to express them or feel that they can be realized. And what I see is that more and more in this globalized world where we can communicate with each other, whether it be electronically or through art or culture or music, and we can share these visions for the world, I think we can create it together.